We are delighted to have you all on this common platform. And uh, as an introductory preamble, may I now invite Sri Shumindu Singh, Joint Registrar IQAC, to address the gap. Good afternoon and heartiest welcome to all my dear colleagues, participants and speakers. To today's lesson of the today's soft skill development program titled Data Organization for EQS Submission, organized jointly by IQAC and EV Library Network. The importance of assessment by NAC. The roles of the IQAC and EQAC in the assessment and the essentiality of submission of EQAR cannot be worsened. These things have become the part and parcel of our academic administration in any university and in all other institutions of higher learning. The speakers of today's program are Dr. Kakali Dato, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer and System Science, Siksha Bhavan, and Dr. Sunju Saitya, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, Siksha Bhavan, and member of IPS. So I invite Dr. Kakali Dato, Assistant Professor, oh, uh, Professor Sunju Saitya, sorry, uh, he will speak first. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. And we thank you uh, to all of you, and especially the Superintendent uh, Seminar Committee and the Director of the IPSC, because they have chosen me to uh, deliver this one that uh, I thank you very much. One thing needs to be done or how, how we can work. Sorry. Thank you, Thank you, So, as you know that uh, this is a university, I can go to the site, the top right one. So, as you know that uh, it is a very uh, sensitive of the university to submit a every year on a particular period of time. So, uh, this is uh, it has become a mandatory because it's uh, earlier it was like the first year you have to pay the second year to go to submit. But now it is mandatory that every year you will submit in a specific before a particular day or a particular month. And that is why um, the things have become most uh, advanced. Earlier it was a hard copy to send. Now it is all online. There is no hard copy. And that is why the things. Those people are submitting also, uh, they are trying to upgrade themselves and NAC also try to upgrade themselves because within 15 days you are getting response. Only it took, uh, it takes uh, three months, uh, four months to get a response from the NAC on, on a surface mail that your your IQ has been accepted. Now within 15 days they are giving you response whether you need a revision or you need a revision uh, accepted. So everything coming digital. And that is why the receipt of the uh, uh, this uh, AQA from physical to digital 
we are uh, trying to equate with this kind of system. And uh, we, we will be happy to know that our university, the university is, uh, uh, has submitted a number of activities earlier on a digital form. Already we are very happy. This presentation I have divided into three parts. And this report we will go one by one. The first part is the what is AQAI. I know that uh, the many of us we are here we, are, we have not been all the points of AQAI. And definitely those people are working in IQAC, they really hold the points in AQA. But we at the department level uh, may not be handling all the points. So we should know all the points. That's why I am just trying to give you a small summary of what is AQAI. You can uh, the, the first is that AQAR is now uh, a document that will decide that whether some financial or other revenue grants you will get uh, or not, your university or college or what. Then uh, your university is evaluated on the student's progression and the window of that for how the students are progressing is on the AQAR. And in employment, nowadays it is a different you know, employment advertisement comes. You can see there is a column, the university level assessment, evaluation, what is the evaluation, by whom it is evaluated, a column is there. So when are your hours are applying in other institutes, they see whether it is coming from a every university or G university. Or I'm applying to other higher posts, it is, uh, it is asked whether you are coming from a university or B university. Then the Earlier, it was when we submitted for NAN, it was 750,000 total fee to be paid to the NAN for overall process. It is a huge amount for NAN. And now it is revised, that is 2021, it is 25 lakhs for in, in, in IIT way, institutional information or for quality assessment. This is the pre format you have to submit. After evaluation of this, the university will be selected for NAN. Then, on, once we get the IIT we pass, then we will go for next then we have to see last year's day. So there is not, not like I have all good colleagues, I have to pay some fee also the some name and it was investing for them. And that's why we have to start from the AQAR. Why? Because you can see the AQAR is nothing but a mirror of SSR, self service report. And SSR is submitted after five years, and these five years are but we are compiling nothing but the AQAR. If I am not able to submit my AQAR timely with, yeah. with uh, valid and correct information, then we will create a problem after five years when I submit my university SSR for assessment. So we have to be very, very careful when we are actually, uh, when we are submitting AQAR, compiling the AQAR. Otherwise, the effect is long term. My, my, my points I missed in 2022 23 will affect my uh, my uh, assessment 2026. So this is the part of what I wanted to tell you why it is important. And this is the university for last, you know, this uh, seven AQR we submitted online uh, after uh, taking up the whole uh, uh, neck, uh, neck assessment, this we are submitted. And here, <coughs> we have to be very serious with AQR. The point is that it is a must to do job for IQAC to name. And second is that fully online. If you miss the last day, your window is closed. Your appeal is declined. Means you are missing that AQA. So it is fully online. Then it is submitted every academic year, July to June. And submitted by the calendar in December. Means suppose this is uh, June, where our academic is going to be completed by next month. Then we will submit the AQR for this academic year by December. And the six months they will need to collect everything. And uh, for IIQA, as you have seen, 25 plus major pay for IIQA. And there are three sums they, they are giving to submit IIQA in one assessment year. In that case, if I fail to submit regular AQA, they will affect the IIQA. They may decline that you have not made, you have not. Uh, fulfill the minimum requirement criteria for IAQA. So your assessment is delayed. You have to submit another one AQA and your last six, five months will be evaluated. Five years will be evaluated. Then there are two parts of AQA. 
part A is the summary of part B. What we fill up in part B will be reflected in part A. This part A goes fast. When we submit a part A, then we can open part B. And that means we have to prepare the part B first. Then we will come to part A. And that is the most, most difficult part because part A is very how many strengths are there? Now we have to collect the strengths. You have might you might have experienced we are collecting numbers from every department. These are compiled. Then how many students are there for their academic uh, student ass assessment year? Last year actually, so five years. So that have to be fed in the part A, and that is collected from the part B section. So our part B is ready fast. Then we can go for part B, and that is why this part is very serious. One because once we submit the part A, we have to collect the part B. If we did some, if we do some mistake. And, and this is one. And second, uh, now let us see. Uh, let us see what is the framework of SSR. But SSR, I'm going again and again because, as I told you, it is everywhere. Nothing but a mirror image of SSR. And SSR, you can have seven, seven different criteria. And all criteria you can see in the slide: particular aspects, machine learning and evaluation, research innovation, infrastructure and learning resources, student support and progression, governance. All points are there in uh, SSR. And the same points exist with the same word with comma there in the actuator. Nothing changes, no changes. It means we are working with a mini SSR. And uh, you can see that when we talk about SSR, we have seen this point that every point is nothing but the point we are submitting five years and here we are submitting one year. Otherwise, there is no difference between SSR and actuator. And when you go for SSR, there are cumulative points. For every SSR, you can see this curricular points, for example. There are 50 marks. There are some uh, key indicators of this criteria. There are 50 marks, 50 marks, 30 marks, 30 marks. Like every key indicator has some scores. And these scores are spelled in AQA. You are submitting on one year, suppose 2023, you are then uh, number of, uh, number of, say, for example, area advancement program is. Conducted 20, but you missed it, you have done zero. Means you have only four years. In the average, average by five, your zero year will be affected more. So when you are writing the AQA, we have to be very particular regarding we have to think about the SSR that we are I'm going to get a score in this point, particular design development a score. I should not miss this year. That if I will correct, no, no, sir. I have to correct this year. So this is what uh, scores are there, and likewise you can see that the total 115 uh, uh, scores, uh, total uh, key points are there, including criteria 7, p indicator 34, quantitative metrics. There are two different metrics are there, qualitative and quality. And these two metrics together, you can see to all 115 points we have to access in one acute AI. And again, these points are uh, this is another two point for example, I'm giving another two point. They have been also just a 20, 10, 10, 50, 40, 30, 200. Similarly, you can go for three point research, research innovation extension, we have 250 points. Again, you can go for infrastructure, 100 points. Your points are higher in these cases. First one, two and three, 150, 200, 250. These are all academic points. The point why I'm showing is. These are all academic points. One, two, three, one. Right? Academic points. And if you come to infrastructure, this is infrastructure is a hundred. Can scores start coming down? Then you can go for another one. Student support progression coming down hundred. Then again you can see governance hundred. Your institutional values hundred. So first three are very high score. Then less for a very hundred score. Each. And then you can come there is a specific calculation. It is a very difficult calculation, but trying to give give you an idea. Then suppose 50 scores get got by uh, by by submission of online data, then three will be assigned by the peer team. And this three is multiplied by 50 and 150. And the maximum score we get here four. The peer team is Remember, they give score for every point. It is not that they are visiting only one, two, three places. Every point they give, and maximum score is three, of course, 
and this score is multiplied with the score which is developed offline or online. The data we have submitted, and this multiplied total score comes like this. And this score total goes one thousand. Uh, then some some amount uh, depending on this uh, this uh, numbers, but you think will come together, and finally we get a, this kind of. Uh, point two point one three uh, three uh, three point something like you will get it. that is the your grade. So when you are submitting data, you, uh, again I am telling you the data we are submitting it goes the BAT. They see every aspect, every point, key point. Not only the point here, they are coming for restricted points. Uh, every point they say come back, see the physical data. Physical data we have with us, and the physical data they verify, then they give this three or four or two or whatever. So that is why AQAR, when we are dealing with our data set be today, our data is online, available now. Submit to IQAR name. We cannot go back and see the data. We have to see the same data after five days, we are doing six. Then you can go for part two. Once we get the idea of what is AQAR, we are now very clear that it is nothing but SSR. So we are actually evaluating from today itself for next. And you are getting data for name. So now working for everywhere. See here, before working for everywhere, the no, uh, there is a latest update on everywhere to the We need to uh, obviously IQST will inform all the departments, but still we have to visit name website time to time because they are changing criteria, different criteria. Now and it is coming, they have changed some of the criteria. Now some changes are they are included to the other progress, but they are not giving all the details, but still other progress, maybe they will complete it. And the meaning of the terms, when we use the IQR, there are different terms are there, and some of us will very clear. See, then they are what we have to, to SSR manual or SOP. If you download the revised SSR, nothing that you just uh, type uh, revised SSR name. And one PDF document will come out, and you will see there many more. The last part manual is there because it will help you to you ask your seniors that what document actually we need, and we should, we have to clarify it to our seniors because uh, they during their time this week coming on this not there. They have frame it and it's new to all of us. So the we have to see the manual and SOP. SOP also there separately we get it. And SOP, uh, there are terms and conditions of submissions are very clearly explained in SOP. We should keep SOP in front of us while compiling data for activity. You can see, for example, I'm giving one example here. Collaboration means what? In manual, what collaboration means? Formal agreement, understanding between any two or more institutions for training, research, or something, something. The formal agreement means it is to be approved by the university. Suddenly, I published two papers, a joint, a feature, joint collaboration in two institutes. That is not going to work. It is a formal agreement. Second, course. We have programs and courses, different academic programs and courses. What is a course? A course is a unit of two to six credits in a formal program. Example, program BA Economics. This is a program. But the course is Kerala Economics. Three is two, zero is two, one. That is the theory, practical zero, and tutorial one. And this one uh, means it's a paper. What paper we are teaching to the students? The paper, course. So uh, many times we have to convince when the data we receive, it is repeating every year. Every year. The, they submit the programs, papers of this submit. Papers are many. Now it is submitting, but many times we have to try it. But remember, this course is with papers, not the program. Then we have to know working on Excel. And working on Google Drive uh, from multiple systems, uh, multiple, multiple windows. These two things are very much mandatory. Capability will explain to you. Then again, as you as I told you, there are two uh, different uh, formats of AQR data. One is the descriptive, second is quantitative. In quantity or uh, descriptive, okay, I will come. Uh, now, these two quantitative and distributed data, while gathering, we have to start from July of the academics. And irrespective of any criteria, except financial. Now, publications also, we have to collect 
the uh, July to June. And if you see the, uh, the publications, the issue, you'll find the data public is always there or market public is always there. So that will help you select it which, yeah, which month, which month your publication to cover. Then soft copy and hard copy file. Then we will help you. Whatever hard copy you get, collect, soft copy also should be relevant. And Google Drive or DQC. We have requested earlier that uh, we need to open a DQC email. And this uh, in Bishop Arden, SW. They are you know, unprivating unlimited data storage. And they are you can keep all the files, whatever you have for everywhere. Even other files you can keep in your DQC uh, folder. You have to create a Google Drive. And the filing in the hard file private wise. The file should be arranged right? because whatever documents you are getting, other than the hard drive, you have to give in a hard drive. And always better to write a parallel Excel file of the old type of data. Uh, this parallel Excel file means uh, when you go for Google Drive, the Excel file uh, does, uh, if you uh, escape from just escape. Uh, go to the uh, down, press uh, uh, Google, 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 Google. Yes. Now, uh, now Google. Uh, Close to it. There is Google is Google Drive. That's I question, I question. I question of dog talk. Yes. So I question. This one, this side. Yes, yes. Side acquisition. Open it. You can see that there's a file. Uh it's it's file is I question events. Now this event from the uh, 70 uh, last one uh, we have conducted. You click this file. You are showing the future, you are showing the open drive of IQC email. Yes. So the root has to be there. I know, I know the calculator is the but I'm just showing that how the filing, and my filing to be done in the uh, uh, whatever they have to be in the soft, soft copy in the screen. So you can see whatever filing you are doing. This is a list of content. You can, when you store in the in the Google Drive, you can make a list, Excel file, make a list. Anytime you can go from there, you don't want to. Uh, check one by one, and you can, you can give a link to anybody else whenever you want. So, uh, you can go to the uh, PowerPoint. PowerPoint, and uh, Google Drive, uh, you can open the, yeah, I can see this PowerPoint. Okay, now show this PowerPoint. This one, this one. Okay, now see the, uh, now, uh, once we know the Excel everything, we have to read the Excel file as per name. As I told you, time to time to change the Excel file. 2021 is different from 2021. Now, again, they are changing and will come. Excel file will come. Uh, next, next slide. Okay. Now, we see what managing files for you are. As I told you, there are two types quantitative and qualitative. But uh, you can see this is a qualitative parameter, uh, key points. Matrix QLM. QLM is numeric, quantity. And, and QLM, when you get when you see QLM, you find a comment like upload relevant supporting documents. And we have to keep the documents ready, whatever I write in this, this particular uh, matrix. And when you go for quality, you have upload the data template. The data template is there in the Excel file. Corresponding 1.1.2 is an Excel file. And there you have to, as part of format, you have to prepare, to up, uh, uh, prepare the data and upload here in respect to this particular uh, table. So, uh, and again, what happens? It is not uh, always that you are giving a descriptive data and your quality part is not taken. Whenever you go to descriptive data, we have to keep the quality part also. If there is a quantity for some quantity are, are associated with. So you can see here this is part attainment of program outcomes, program specific outcomes, and course outcomes are evaluated by institution during the year. This is a qualitative point. But in SSR, this same quality was QLM. QLM describe the method meaning TSPOs file is up before to describe this one. This will not necessarily come up with higher or lower. You have a specific method of calculating POs, COs, as etc. And this conclusion we have already earlier explained. This is a video link attached uh, to you, I trust here. You can see the video link. And any video link, you can show the YouTube, 
how to calculate the uh, this is POCOs. There is a total calculation procedure. This is actually a numeric point, but no need to give a this uh, quantitative quantitative data. Rather, we should give a uh, the descriptive data here. But for that, we need to take the help of this quantitative data. That is why that is not necessary that the when the, uh, the point is descriptive, it is always descriptive. Some quantitative calculations are there behind a particular point. So this is the uh, we have to be very careful. But again, uh, see the another point, the file, suppose uh, sometimes timely collection of data after so we have already uh, two uh, equivalent have submitted. And these two equivalents, we have struggled a lot to collect the actual data. Still gives today, and uh, we are not clear, you know, none of us clear what the total number of census numbers. And this is the fact is that the data is all in the hard form, it's not in the soft form. Of course, now we are trying and uh, we have we have a system that today how many students are there. Uh, we can tell, but still, one or two years out of that, three years we have, five years we want to. So, what we have to do, we have to collect at the department level the enrollment number, the year, year of enrollment, and student enrollment number, and that of any. These, these information are there to the department. Whenever the department is getting some students, the seat is vision cell, uh, they used to provide the seat to the departments. They used to keep a repository of the local receipt of the center, and some students they live in between, mark them, and then you can fill out this data for a particular year by the, I think, in the January, February, this table can be found. And that will help you when you submit the data. No need to go for a register attendance, no need to go for this. And this is very easy task. And even the, the table goes for admission studies in Excel form. You don't need to do it. You have to cut paste the columns and table uh, records to get the data. And again, the, uh, yes, sometimes we are confused in what to do. The year of enrollment. Remember, see the generally what the chance when we submit for five years. Five years, the SSR will submit. We are this particular area is actually academic. Year. And this is this uh, uh, I will have another table mostly the next slide. Academic year. So the sheet of admission uh, and period students for particular academic year to mention it. Then the date of admission we should mention it. Then you can go for, uh, yes, here you see, uh, another one, year of passing final examination, name of the students, enrollment numbers. Difference is that the exam department is very much, very much uh, uh, particular on registration number, not enrollment. So many times you have to integrate these two numbers. And this is a system generator. The exam department, they work in a very uh, different system. And uh, uh, the NQR is uh, having a different system. They are not asking the this number. They are asking alumni number. So we are, it's the same. The last year students, if you have this to the down, you are passing the final exam. You have a very good sheet of the student passing 20, 30 students, final year semester results. And now the students, I don't know. This is nothing just one. Uh, I think 30 minutes, 40 minutes job. If it is done for a particular year, I think very uh, not only to go for here and there, in the time of uh, submission. Then again, here you can see the year of passing is not academic year, passing the final year. And, but, uh, the year uh, in which he, the students pass. Because sometimes back students will pass the next year. So we have we have to uh, give here the only the final year, not the academic year. So now we can come. List of courses and the course name. See the courses, as I told you, the paper CC6, for example, the paper is environmental statistics. This is the example and uh, paper. And uh, many times we never find a program code. We get a mix of the course from different departments. The codes are misspelled sometimes. So, codes are given in a prospector, in a program code. You can see the codes are there. This code, program code, maybe number of codes will come as 11. BA, 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 all 11. Consider BA honors 11, MA 12, and BAD. This is for uh, uh, So you can write BA English, then uh, introduction 1975, status of implementation CBCSS, yes, 2017. Year of revision is 2023. Now, the point revision when I say we need to have such 
extent of revision that we can pay me. And I think I have 20 people as an example. So what happens? As per the SOP of NAM, if there is 20% less revision, we cannot clean the revision. The revision should be 20% more. So whenever we have BOS or anything, this point you can remind your senior that 20% revision should be there so that we can plan it to the next actual submission. So this part is very important. Then you can come to high school everywhere. There are a lot of files we get for you know, 115 their points are there and a lot of uploads you need. And that is why we can minimize what happens there is a specific space for uploading in a name. You can directly upload some files, but that space is very limited. And many times they prefer a link of the second website or second uh, uh, repository portal. So here you can see whatever you can have, the data you can get a link. Different link, link provide to find this type of column in the, the Excel field, Excel file. So publish the seminar conference configuration in the website. Whenever you conduct seminar conference, let it publish. Let us the visitor to website to take the load of the file and you will get the link to submit. Only the link is required. A for net or for everywhere, not the file. They don't require the file. If you have 10, 10 different reports are there in the website, visitor to website, just give 10 links. And that will be uploaded to the relevant file. And your only tool is the original file. So, uh, whenever we have a con con uh, complicated conference seminar, we have to publish a short report, one or two pages, whatever. One photograph, short report, one page. But we need to publish in the website, which we are just find a loop to the website. So, that is the best way. If, uh, once you publish, you can just uh, keep the link and in the particular year and find it in the Then, uh, publication journals, you know, we, most of the, uh, we are all our technologies and most of the times we like to give our publications whenever we get any chance to give our publications. And then it does keep the publication, this is uh, QL, is one of the very vital, vital parts. And uh, they are obviously, they are seeing the uh, UGC digital journals as well as the, all, uh, 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 this is a uh, care list as well as a scope of web science, whatever. And, Whenever, whenever we submit the journals, many times we get DOI number we give it a link. DOI is a personal number. Personal means your publication, the publication, personal publication. Your anybody can click the your number and put personally your uh, that specific paper. But they need whether it is UC listed, listed magazine, uh, journal, or SCOPA, some web of science journal. So for that, we should not give them DOI number. We have we have a specific SCOPA. Or if, if you remember, if I remember the UGC is some some kind of Pune, like some name comes, right? Pune does something comes. So this you have to integrate in the Excel sheet, not the UN number. Then national international, classify national international. And I still remember the last year, national international doing this one very difficult because a publication which is national international, other than the author, nobody can claim. I can see the journalist national. But uh, know that uh, you are writing international. I have to be very careful. I cannot send it national because you are claiming it. So the when you collect the data, the the that should be very uh, clearly mentioned in your in your uh, Excel sheet. And affiliating institute has a time of publication. So when you publish a book chapter or a book with the there is another point from three point six point five or six six. Is a affiliating institute at the time of publication. Maybe one is one is one is an assistant professor, professor, some publications were there, they hear in other institute, that's what it means. That it was in the Bordama University, uh, but he's now working in Bishop Arnish. So that application should be clear. And there, this will help because you know, at the end of the year, when you have to submit, you get two months, in, in two months we usually get for uh, this overall collection from the department. That time it becomes difficult for some people to give more details of the public for one year and for the whole department. So timely, timely, maybe one month how many publications, two or three publications, if we can collect from the department and we can make the next from it, the Excel sheet uh, every time, this will reduce the load. Uh, one month how many, two or three publications come for the department, five publications come. So this will help us to reduce the level and as well as we can reduce the time.
So these are points, uh, these three points which we need. We can give the uh, personal ingress as well as for the university of UK. See, this is seven point, the last point. The measures initiated by the institution to the promotion of gender equity during the year. This is an institution, but any any department also, gender equity program, they conduct women studies, they can conduct a gender equality program. That will also come to the period of policies. So this is open to all in, in departments. Then alternative sources of energy. Departments may uh, publish a notification that uh, from uh, this alternative source, similar structure exists, develop current here. Therefore, we are changing CHL to some other uh, alternative source. Uh, we need to use the work load, that's right, energy load. So their notification will help. Notification you uh, publish in website and you have taken some measures, that will help if we have taken initiative. Even source of energy. Say for example, uh, if a department regulated every Wednesday and Thursday, the car use of car will be reduced. That will help energy as well as green energy development. Green report also we can have. This is notification, and now some of our products will come by cycle, some come by car energy. So that we have uh, given impression that yes, we are taking some initiative to uh, this energy conservation. So these are departmental issues, but that is close to university. That's kind of facility of institution for the management of degradable and non-request. So this is also department can take some initiatives uh, as far they are the position and the, and the level. So the electronic versus how they are managing uh, this one. And again, uh, water conservation facilities available in the institution. Available in the if we have uh, developed some kind of water reservoirs, then also we come. And institution celebrates, organizes national and international common, uh, commemorative days and events. Even. even many departments have their own some kind of day, the special day they celebrate. This day should be recorded and made public and official at this website uh, notification, website report publication, uh, YouTube official. DQAC has a very good option because DQAC, one of the programs, if they convert to YouTube and publish it website as YouTube, that can be given a link to the report. And that is again reducing our photograph space ability. You are giving a link to you. If anybody has an interest, they can go and stay. So, uh, best practice of down later. And this is part three. Now, once we know how to do the everything, let us go to the documentation. It's part three. And documentation, as, I, as you know, the documents now are very important. Your whatever is free, those are in manual, they don't know your university. How big is this? How small it is? What you doing department? They always see the document because online verification. <laughs> and uh, our documents are say many things. When what we are not doing, they are, can also be uh, other things there. So we be very careful. What we are doing should be appropriately reflected in the, the manual. So the thing is that this is the uh, accurate guideline 21 22. There you can see three files they are providing. One is PDF file, this is the instruction and PDF file. And one is word file. You can download word file and see the summary that things are written there. And whatever word file, uh, this word file summary type, these are coming from the Laplace and Excel file. It means we have to work in word file as well as the Excel file. And that is why we need obviously a desktop assistant to work and some hard file we need to keep the record. And these two only will help. And from there, when you connect, we connect the Google Drive. Because our file where you can scale and upload it in a Google Drive. And you know, general Gmail is using around 15 um, GB. Around 15 GB. And, but you know, the, our uh, university's uh, visual disability is the unlimited space. That's why you are requesting it again, they get you open email as a DPOC email of a department in visual and you can keep the file in the Google Drive here. And this file is shareable. We can share, don't need to send a big file, official signature. Our IPC office is very much visible. You can send a dust uh, link, we will browse it. So, this uh, uh, a document may be published in your website, department website in a test. And the, the maximum effort you can uh, take is that we have to reduce the load of documents. And for that, we should always try to attempt to publish the particular report, notice, whatever award, whatever to the university website. Our document, my document is there. So photographs must be geotech for submitting the idea. So this is one of the criteria. We will let miss it. Geotech photographs. So these geotech photographs should be uh, 
there's an app, Jodic app, you can download it. Any mobile can be taken across the hand. And it works in the world. There are some uh, criteria, uh, there are field work uh, activities are required. Short training courses, a certificate is to be provided for production level two. Because once the field work is done, suppose some students of social work, they are going to field work. And they, after completion, they submitted some kind of report. But report cannot be uploaded in a visual uh, network site. There is a huge uh, uh, one kind of document. Whether if I give a certificate, this completed this course, uh, this field work on from this level, that's it. So their certificate, uh, 20 students uh, uh, GDF will be a high risk to carry. So that can be uh, accommodated in the net format. So scan copies being kept in department. Scan copies, hard copy, soft copy, or certificate being kept in department. So we have to keep the files as well as the scan copy. So then uh, that can be produced. Then we are conducting a lot of software and awareness programs, NSS, NCGS. But in the meantime, we are not going to try never publish anything. Even software, not every event to be published. At least I have conducted several of five, uh, five software programs in a year for a particular academic year, that five programs can be compiled and just published in the website. They will help, help us to keep them. And if it is year-wise, then year-wise can be one or two lines, one photographs that will help us. So this is the uh, NSS NSG. They published the report. They have a report. They have a report already, but that is not published already in the website. Uh, this is uh, one of the problems we are facing that the NSS the DNOC or doctor do not have any physical website to follow the link. So if we publish then we can easily get a link from the existing website. Sometimes we never ask the person. And suppose the last time it happened, then how many uh, different uh, conferences are organized in the university? We have gone to the seminar website, web page of the visual world, we have collected the links and we have given it. We did not wait for the department to provide it. So it will help us to go faster. Before you respond, we can collect the data. It is in the website. So, uh, certificates net sales. Now, this is a point, uh, the point uh, on coming under criteria five. This point, we are our students are going on every time, which uh, uh, our students net get, they are getting, when uh, our students who are st still studying, they are getting net get, and we just get information. I got net chart every day. But the thing is that we need to collect the certificate and we keep it with us. It is a record, a student progression, it has been, it's a good the score is there, progression. And then placement of students, any document showing is our placement. The students who have passed our institute and got a placement anywhere else, we should create a kind of a window that students can uh, uh, give, a, give an information that yes, I have got this placement here and this is documents I have. Whatever document, anytime this error, everything they don't have this rule. But whatever document we have, we should it here. Then students progress to higher education under the visual model. They have got a PhD somewhere, UG student got admission, someone is doing university outside the university. So, this record also we will keep with us to show the student progression. Award, medal certificate, group and single separately. So, this again, sports and cultural events, notification and geotech photographs. I have seen our sports department, they are doing different kinds of inter-government, inter-department, different programs. This will be published on the website. A report of the event, any photographs, and award, award and seeing photographs, name of the, uh, the award winners, only will work. So, this is hardly a one piece stuff. This we can easily do with uh, this kind of. Uh, we have the accurate data collection. Then, best practices are another part. So, this is a very interesting part because every department often go for best practices. And we have to mention at least two best practices in a sense of and we have to mention five best practices in five AQAs. And we can go for more than five. So last time I NAC came, they will have asked all the best practices we have done, but we submitted it two. And finally, they went to agriculture department and to KDP and other things that you see, because they have chosen some bills they have given, which we did not submit. We submit something else, but they, they have selected that we should go for that. Uh, bills, uh, one school, some adopted bills uh, are there. So they went to the TSB, uh, TSB they went to the TSB. So they went to the, all these kind of uh, best practices we have published. These are still there on our site. And all departments can go for, but what is the best, best practice? Our question is that 
This is unique. It is not like a uh, morning I do a prayer. It is not like that uh, I am measuring this food. No, this is a unique time. And for that, I should visit. Uh, I, I, I like to suggest that I should visit some kind of best practices in different higher institutions. How they are present. And socioeconomic issues should, are getting more attention in best practices. Whoever comes, they like to the university addressing socioeconomic issues out of the curriculum. So this is one exemplary. This best practice should be an example for other students. Then one. Then four eyes and one leave there. What is identification, implementation, institutionalization, and internalization and research. So this these five criteria uh, must be met for this. And then if you go, they have you know if you go to uh, uh, they have a specific. Uh, Instructional formats, best practices in higher education and quality investment. You can see the web, uh, next website, this is the link. You can go for and you can get the understand, you can understand their work, you can look for best practices in uh, quality department. And for that, you have to go for next website. Okay, the answer. Then you go for uh, next website, then home resources. Under resources, you can find best practices. And here you can see. There are uh, mentioning best practices, uh, particular aspects, what best practices we found, and community aspects, what best practices we found, evaluation aspects, what best practices we found, higher education, what we found. So, each of these what best practices we found. So, all kinds of best practices they are giving instruction and guidelines there. So, we can read and go there and implement it even further. And this will help us. They told you not to leave it one, not to leave it two. We have to produce 20, 30 best practices in English. That will give a better impression. So here, as this is another part very important, student feedback. As you have seen, uh, we have already circulated the student feedback form. I think uh, all entities have uh, circulated among the faculty. And the QSC uh, request to take initiative for the maximum student feedback. Till today, almost 550 students have responded to the uh, 22 ministry. And that is why uh, uh, we need to increase it. Because we can see that it is even 10% of students' population of 500. If once we get, the, if we get a school score, we have what the total number of visibility is around uh, 7,900 students are there. So 10% of students will come around 700, for example. Or of the population, or 500, whichever is less. Even we don't have 500 we are less. So in that case, we have to train them. Actually, AQAR, best practices, we are getting, uh, if people are getting, at the same time, students are getting trained how they respond. When NAC will conduct this best practice, after five years, NAC will conduct from Bangalore. If nothing will come to us, then NAC will send the, uh, the whole email to all students, then you will just provide that feedback to about your department. We don't have anything. And our student got 11% last year. In the next month, uh, we send around uh, 7,000 emails, emails to 7,000 students. And luckily, we got 11% responses. We, got, uh, we don't know how that is, but as far as this one, we will got full school. So, this is what we need to practice the students uh, so that they are familiar with their best practices for this uh, certain thing. Then, uh, the mechanism of accurate compilation. Finally, this is the last slide. So finally, what uh, is that after doing all these things, how do we do? And you can see the IQAC is the final compiling for the Potter Institute. And there is a team in IQAC. They are compiling from different sources. And they are collecting the data from governance. And governance, they are collecting data from departments. Different departments, they send the data to governance. Governance is a government level compilation. And for all governance, these are coming to the IPC. Then, after one month of uh, the whole compilation, this IPC, they share the file. No need of hard copy. All are in soft copy. Department, they share the file. They share the file in Google Drive with Havana. Havana, they share the file with IPC. IPC, they online, they work everything. They give, uh, they again open the file after compilation of all work from the whole Havana. They com compile and open the file to governance. They give back the file to governance. Governance is corrected and they can be monitored from the IPS. 
I use it to monitor what sensor going in the governor. The governor may take the uh, initiative to uh, compile it with the uh, department, any doubt and confidence they can ask about online or hard So this process goes for around one and one and half months. And finally, once we get the IPC finalized, then final copy is submitted to the higher authority after they give an improvement, we submit it to the uh, NEC. So NEC, they take 15 days uh, to first evaluation. If it is accepted, accepted otherwise, they give a correction. They again contact the departments. They will give it. So our documents will be ready, our online hard copy will be ready so that promptly I get response. So this is what is the uh, overall the AQAR. I think uh, uh, whatever I can you know, explain, I explain and it's very clear. And okay, so I have a basic query. So this year, this assessment year is going to be from July 22 to June 23. It is uh, July 22. July 22 to June 23. June 23. So from last year to this year. Yes. So now that we are going to have the new education policy, from yes. this, this year, things will change completely. Already changed because uh, the first uh, criteria, the first few criteria, they have asked. You can see the already updated uh, active on our site. They have asked what are the uh, Madhi discipline needs we have taken. The questions they have asked. So, but that is going to be for the next year. No, only our submitted 21 22. Then criteria of uh, NA, they have indicated and we have already responded. And uh, this will also continue. On the first day, someone has. Uh, you can go for uh, this, this uh, minimize it. You can go back and um, this, you know, you know, the website, website, name website. Name website, you have just opened name website. Yes, you can go back. It is open and if you are if you are behind if you are guiding on click click just click click now this is top one okay now go down go down go down order go down order go down they see okay go 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 this one let's get twenty the they are sending for twenty to twenty three see this is they are still provide to provide one file in there but they change going on this is uh, going on. We don't know what uh, except file will come. That's the way. NEP has been implemented as it. NEP will come, maybe it may come there. Next year. It may come there. So, but we have to wait for this particular criteria what they are asking. If you mention the Excel file and Word file, what they need, then we can we come. <laughs> Yes, uh, just one thing I like to add here. Talkati, Mike, Talkati, we have new books. So, uh, this year we have submitted uh, on 26th of December. Am I audible to all? Yes. So, 26th of December 2022, we submitted. Our AQA, we put that uh, it is mandatory for us to get it through by the statutory body of the university. So it was passed through the court for the highest body. And uh, when it was approved, we are finally uploaded it as it has been mentioned entirely online process on 26th of December. And right uh, as it has mentioned, as Mr. Chaiti has mentioned, we, on uh, 6th of January, uh, our AQR, uh, the first response has come that it is now open for revision. So that means 26 December, when we have uploaded the final one, within few days only, two weeks, less than two weeks, we have got a response from NAC that it is it has been evaluated by NAC and it is now open for revision. And that revision they have given is a specific criteria. Uh, the letter is with me. The criteria was that there are certain areas where you will have to revise, that means uploading of certain documents as a proof 
of what you call claiming in your EQA. That means it is very much important whether it is equivalent or equivalent, qualitative or quantitative consideration. So you will have to provide. If it is quantitative, you will have to give quantitative data. For that, we are having specific Excel sheets that will be presented in the Google Drive that will come from the bubble through uh, from our department through bubble to the agencies. But so far as the qualitative data is concerned, then we have to suffice. For example, somebody has published a monograph. If that particular monograph has not been scanned and the link has been created, and if that link has not been shared with the IQC, IQC cannot provide that link in the AQA. So for example, you have published from July 2022 to June 2023, five different publications. You may have published it and it is it has received so much of accordance from scientific or uh, teaching fraternity. But if you have not created the link for those publications and have not shared those with the respective IQC bodies or your novel or something like that, we may not upload it. So when we are providing the data that we are having 60 odd publications, they are saying that you provide the entire list. And that entire list will be prepared by IQC and there will be a link for the entire publication list. So I hope you understand that how fast the things are going. For this year, why we have uh, initiated this movie, but constantly the things are changed. That means we are also upgrading, as Dr. Shaikin has said, that as we are trying to develop, the bank is also constantly changing their focus operating. That means they are giving us some different types of formats. And guidelines so that we can upgrade us from time to time. So now this year we will have to submit the data for July 22 to June 23. And some of these data, say for example, the enrollments are already over. We are going to the uh, examinations, the first semester examinations, or semester examinations, and the even semester examinations if you are going there. So we can now easily confirm the enrollment number, the name of the students. Etc. So because hardly we will get after, say for example, we will be starting our academic journey again in the month of July, first week of July. And then we will have to run for those kind of informations because we will have to submit it by December. And our target is to get all your data before the future efficiency of organization starts. So I uh, think that you understand that the information that the bank will be asking us in the form of ERD status report. What is the key is the ERD status. So this ERD status report, the data that you will have to provide, I hope that you all consider it is very much wise or delicious it would be to start the process for such data, for such proof in the form of documents to collect from the right form. So that when we will be assembling again after the uh, summer recess, we will be having a good idea that what we are having up to. Uh, one totally such type argument here. When you are talking about links, uh, mm. link. the link means uh, when you share the Google Drive link, it is internal shared. But when you submit to the uh, net, it is our official website, which is about the So Google Drive link is not accepted in the uh, net. So uh, internally, when we share a file, uh, we should not think that our link has shared and I have submitted. No, it is for only our internal purpose. I can see your uh, document, I can verify it, I can ask the document, that's it for the whole effort. But if you want to uh, give a link for whole or not, then we can get it from public in the particular. Uh, the book that you have published, the publisher or the concerned agency, we have already uploaded it in the website. That it is now available oh. for sale. So that is the link of it. <coughs> Say, for example, the Kamutukwata is made some kind of presentations, and that presentation is available in the form of YouTube link. If that YouTube link can be shared with us, that can be uploaded. Thank you, Mr. Please explain uh, what is what do you mean by academic flexibility because there is a point for that and how do we reflect that? I'm concerned about this because uh, we are going through a process of curriculum development, planning, etc., implementing 
our or we are designing our new system for. We are also uh, we are also uh, doing that for which and also about academic flexibility how at in our curriculum or what the plan and another point is uh, you are for seven point more you are talking about social responsibility and our center several universities across the world including one of the universities of academic and also is it I know that we should have the doctors that were religious, so that can be shown that academic is responsible. But is it at the micro level or micro level? Yeah, See, academic uh, flexibility, you know, there is a no specific uh, definition of time. But you know, when you talk about academic flexibility, uh, that uh, we have, you know, when you go for CBCS, uh, the last one, we have some multidisciplinary uh, programs. We have some uh, programs which were uh, taken by my department, they have. Some programs and taken by the other department. There is one coming, and second is that uh, uh, students, when uh, uh, choice, whatever, what choice are given to students, um, number of choice are given to students. And earlier, you can think about the earlier part because these are coming, uh, these activities coming in uh, that the last revision, uh, that is uh, 19, 2017 uh, or 18. Priority was not there. So that time it was when uh, 17 GPCs come, then it, it came. Earlier it was not there. So when flexibility is coming directly addressing the our CPCS syllabus we are following. And their all options are there. Like I said, we have the students taking from the fund department. Which category it is? This is 1.1.2 uh, many. Category when I specifically academic, academic, academic out of the seven criteria. No, no, no. It's one. First curriculum, curriculum. Curriculum flexibility or academic flexibility? Uh, Academic okay. flexibility term is there. Yeah. Under that, this curriculum is curriculum. Yes. So, this is really CPCS curriculum. One university implements CPCS curriculum. We, are, we have adopted the flexibility. That is what. Which will also mean the number of options within the department because for us, uh, we do not have undergraduates, we just have master's courses. So, we mean that we can show that way that the number of options are Yes, yes. Obviously. Within our department. Yes. <coughs> And your second point was the uh, social Life. responsibility. Is there, you know, that there is no specific uh, uh, kind of a uh, restriction that the social responsibility this is for this particular area should be covered. Your department covers whatever it comes. And department is nothing but it is uh, what university reflects, it is coming from department. So department, they are what they are doing. And that if it is good enough and uh, socially very uh, highlighted, uh, if one can highlight, that can be subjected to the institutions. No, uh, I would like to add anything. Right? If you go to the, for example, 1.2, I don't understand after that you may not pass the IQM with you. Since I am, it is happening with me, it's a very pertinent question. Thank you for raising this issue. Uh, under point 1.2, academic flexibility, there are uh, two major points. 1.2.1, Number of new courses introduced or the total number of courses across all programs offered during the year. So if I'm in a department, then I will be giving that how many courses were running previous to this year and how many new courses I have offered. And what IQVC will do, it will be acting as a center for assemblage. That means so many departments are having this number of total courses and this number of courses new courses have been offered. So that will be giving us a specific quantitative data. Question number, uh, point number 1.2.2, number of programs in which choice-based credit system or CBCS or elective course system has been implemented during that. I think that in uh, 2022, uh, uh, 23 June, we are having most of our courses which are CBCS. So if we have introduced any courses, I don't think that we have not, I don't think that we have introduced a new course during the past one year, considering that ADP will be coming from 2023. So these are the two major points, and we are all holding back since last one year. Whatsoever we are thinking, 
that we will be making changes. We are considering that yes, anything is coming. So let us hold back for some. So the basic things are two major points. So perhaps the academic flexibility. Thank you. Okay, then uh, I think uh, I might become more okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Saikir, for taking the time to share your expertise and uh, sharing an information presentation with all of us. I hope you get all of us. Uh, earlier in the day, we have shared a Google form in the library uh, faculty group and the DD MOE Wi Fi group, and uh, we have received quite a few uh, responses. We are requesting the participants. Yes, we are requesting for all the participants present in this room kindly fill up the Google Forms that have been provided. And if, if you're having problem having access to that Google Form, kindly get us. Thank you. Now, as, as you can see, that when Sujo was introducing or presenting his uh, uh, slides, that whenever we are working with the APUA app, uh, we really need to be very upgraded with our skills for working on the computer. So to help us out with uh, that part, and especially we have to use the Microsoft Office Excel. So we have requested Dr. Kapuri from Department of Computer Science to help us out with that. She shall be uh, addressing all the problems that we have after she has finished the presentation. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So here, the, what I am going to show is just a revision work for those who are, have already worked uh, with Excel or by uh, uploading this SSR. For those who are new to uh, this SSR and are starting working with it, I think my talk will be helpful for you. Here is an Excel sheet that has already been uh, downloaded from the website. This is the data sheet, data template you can see. Uh, here are some uh, objects that we have to um, fill up while uh, submitting the SSR. So first, let us know how to upload it in our drive. Here we see that when you go to your account, Google account, you will find this structure that is, if you click onto that, you see there is a drive like this. So we click onto that. And here you can see new. Now we will click onto this new and here you will find the option file upload. Now when you click onto file upload, then you have to choose the file that you like to upload. Here we have our file that is to be uploaded in the downloads. So we are just going on to that and clicking it. And now it will, you see that one upload is complete. So we have already uploaded it in our drive, in my drive. Let's see if it is there or not. Here you can see it is there, right? So we can click uh, onto that and now it is available in my drive. So it has opened. Now I would like to share it with my colleagues, see of our of my department because generally the SSR is prepared by uh, two or three uh, from the department. So I would like to share it with uh, some of us. Say, say Shojo. Here I have the, the, I have the option. If I want him or uh, her to edit, then I will give the option as editor. If I just want him or her to see the thing, uh, see the files, then I will give the option as viewer. In general, when you are sharing with your colleagues, that is when uh, more, uh, more than one people who are trying to do something, work on it, then we will share it as editor. Then send. So the message will go to them that this file has been shared with you. So now here is a data template. This is the first page. There are a number of sheets. You can click onto these sheets and you can update accordingly. Suppose for, uh, let's start from sheet, uh, sheet number one. Here you have program code. Now this program code, it may be some uh, program 11, say it is for BSC, sorry, BSC. 
and the year of offering, Psalm 19, 75, and so on. Now, if I had the program course in order, as uh, I think is it visible? Suppose we have program code 12 and it is for NST. And your about for is next. Uh, So if the numbers are uh, in order, that is 11, 12, 13, 14, we can just select this two and drag the thing so that it will automatically come. Okay. Then you can add the different names. Now here we can rename the sheets. For example, it is given as 1.1. If I click on to this sheet and click on to rename, then we can just change the name of the sheets. Okay. This is one thing. Now, another thing is that we can uh, duplicate a sheet. That is, suppose we want to duplicate a sheet, we just go and click duplicate, and you see we will get a copy of sheet 1.1. Now, we can remove the sheet like this, uh, this one. So, that is just delete. We can also hide the sheet. That is, we are not removing it, but we are just keeping it intact and we are just hiding it. In that case, how, how do I know where of, what is hidden or not? We can click on this and here we can see what sheets are available over here. But here, you, uh, you uh, when you see this uh, screen, you will not see this copy of 1.1. One, one, one one, because we have hidden it. But when you uh, click onto this one, you can uh, you are able to see this copy of 1.1. One one. Now, if I want to work with this power copy of 1.1, one one, we will click onto that and we will get the copy of this. Sheet. Now, if I don't want it, I can just delete it. Now, if I want to add some rows into a sheet, you can click on to any row, then insert one row above in order to insert a row above that particular row. Or we can insert a row below. That is, we can insert a row below. Now, you will say that if I want to insert 10 rows at a time, how to do that? Because uh, many a times we need to add, uh, add add 10 rows at a time, but um, it is not possible to do one by one power it will be time taking. So what we do is that we select 10 rows at a time, then click on to this, then you can see the option insert 10 rows. And insert 10, uh, or either above or below. If you choose above, obviously it will come above. And if you want to change, uh, this, uh, add it below, you can add it uh, accordingly. See, uh, we can delete this in a similar manner. You just click on to the rows you want to delete. Delete selected rows. We have deleted those rows. Now, similarly, we can add on to columns. Uh, we can add columns from here. Uh, uh, say we want to add three columns. So here you see that insert three columns left or insert three columns right. Next, uh, next, we want to use sorting. Suppose we want to sort some numbers, so let us put in some numbers. These are just arbitrary numbers. Oh, sorry. These are just arbitrary numbers. So nothing to do with the year. Now I have to, uh, suppose I have to sort. In that case, what we do is that uh, one thing uh, you can uh, we can first select the column and then we can select a column and over here you can view yeah uh, here from here you can sort the column from A to Z or Z2A accordingly. So, no, eta, eta sort of it. 
Yeah, sort the column C. We have selected the column C. So here we are getting the option sort column C from A to Z or Z to A. Let us uh, select from A to Z. So you see we have sorted the thing. But here you see these two lines, these two rows, they have come below. We just don't want that. So that's why what we do is that we first have to freeze these two rows. That is, we select these two rows. We go to the view option, go to freeze and select the number of rows we want to freeze. Okay. Once you freeze these two rows, that is, we know that this is the um, row name, um, this is the column name. And then when you select this column, and then you go to the data short or uh, shorting option, you see this, uh, the column will be shorted, but here the rows one and two will be in intact. Now, suppose we want to add links. For the links, let us uh, have the Vishwamati website on. Suppose we go on. Suppose we uh, want some name of a full time teacher. Say some set. Then we have some pan number. Designation. Year of appointment. Um, now, suppose we want to have uh, this call, um, this reference. Okay. In that case, what we do is that we can open Vishwamitra's uh, website. From, from here, we can go to the faculty list. Let us choose any uh... okay. So here we will just copy this address See, we have just added this so whenever we click on to this we can directly open, uh, we can open this page so thus we can create links from the uh, excel sheet to the different pages of uh, Similarly, say for if you, um, um, if you have to add the different papers, yeah, uh, the journal papers, similarly, we can find out the paper from the website. Uh, see. Yeah, suppose suppose uh, here uh, here is a link and suppose he has a paper in that case now now suppose we want to link this to the journal then Here you just 
click on um, copy the um, link and just do apply. In that case, the link will come. Another thing is the Scopus. Uh, Here is the Scopus runner, uh, Scopus. Source. See, here is the link of the Scopus uh, journal. Okay. So you just copy onto this, um, copy this link and you just paste it over here. Okay. So that you can think of our trick to get the link of the Scopus journal. So these are the main things that we need while picking up the SSR. Any other question? Okay. Now I have changed the sheets over here. So in that case, let us um, mark it by some uh, some way. Change color. So I can change the color. So um, when someone is working on it, we'll know that something has been done over here. Okay. Similarly, I have to put it in there. Again, we have changed this sheet. So here also. I can change the color the so that others will come to know that others will come to know that some, some changes have been made. Now, suppose some particular sheet is ready, then also you can uh, go and change color, say green. That is, it has been done, it is ready. Another thing. Uh, we should have to maintain proper date form while uh, making entry. Date form is not important. Date form is not important. Slash slash. Yeah, date form is this say sixteen slash five slash eight two zero two three one two three. Sixteen slash five slash two zero two three. The date format. Like, uh, this format should be maintained uh, uniform. Yeah, the standard is very short now. So, it is uh, very difficult for us to In that case, we should say that all the entries in the form of as per the given day, month, 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 year. Day, month, year. The standard notation that is already in here at this. No, no, day, month, year of slash. 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 In by default, many cases mark comes first. Yes. Then the date, uh -huh. then the year. The average system. The average, that is average system. So yes. Anything else you want to know? Actually, as you work on it, you will learn. No, everything. While uh, making entry of some of the names of the faculty members, we have to uh, discard the salutation like yeah. doctor or professor. Yes. All the names. Name. Suppose we have either. In that case, just select this. Edit, find and replace doctor, sorry, doctor, replace with nothing. So in that case,
he was in area for it. So that's what I want. He, he was in so any mistake. Yeah. We will uh, we will we'll provide it. Uh, we will take, we will take yeah. all suggestions next week. We will be sitting together with all members uh, of the committee. Yeah. 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 Not only that, we are putting the same as it is possible in a way across central file. We will be posting these sample files in our IQS website so that it will be available 20, 24 into 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 35 days. But those data will be some kind of arbitrary data. Not we will be sharing from any of the departments, but there are some kind of arbitrary entries will be there. But those entries will be at par with the actual. Mm -hmm. We can uh, say and we will do it. Please, sir. Uh, sir, <coughs> I have pointed out that Sujuta very well uh, regarding the links part. Like, uh, in terms of publication, we have scope of the stream of science, and that's fine. But uh, regarding presentations of paper, regarding participation in MPP, is there any kind of uh, space where we can uh, put that in? Because sometimes it may not be the form of online MPP that we could have. Uh, YouTube links. Sometimes we may participate all the time. We have this is to be uploaded in a neck website. The UC could share some link already where it will upload. Hmm. But you will have to have your PDF copy as a point of right. The scan PDF copy as something. Say, for example, you will be sharing some kind of links where you will just click and you will upload, upload it. the beginning and you will share and upload in this particular link. So, what do we do? We will be receiving some kind of hyperlinks. We will click there. And after that, there will be an option to upload your file. So, faculty development program or any other program you have attended offline, that data will be with you in the PDF format scan already. So, now you will select the file and go for up. So, you will be getting it. So, this, I was thinking that uh, whether uh, that link will be within inter intra university or like <laughs> internal university link. Internal, no, no, so I'm telling you. Our internal. Our internal. Then we get for our faculty members to upload their. Hmm. Ultimately, our motto is to get all your data at the IPVC computers so that we can make a, make a compilation. A compilation so that that can be finally placed to the name in the form of ERD series. So I again reiterate our motto is to get all your information. Subdivide it into seven criteria and different other points, and then complete the compilation and submit it. The best possible way we can submit it to that because each of these data will fetch us some marks. So these links, as I am, as you were mentioning, if we share some links, those links are we are not sharing with anybody else other than the Bishop or the for uploading it. The links are basically the Google Drive of the Bhavan. Because the, sometimes when it is online, then we share the link of YouTube, so that's public. No. But no, here no, we are part of the We make some kind of links from IQSC Google Drive. That means we do not share those links with general public. We send it to Bhavan principals, directors, and the departmental heads on it, so that the faculties can upload their documents. And once those documents are over, then the links are deleted. And uh, now I request uh, the other members if you want to highlight any other points that would be pertinent for us to share with you. Well, let me tell you something because we are all were working with this Excel. So Excel it has some particular problem which I can just share with you. It's when let I attend two programs or three programs. Then what we do? I put my name in one line, 
Second line, it is my program, so I don't put my list. So what happened when we combine the files? When we combine the files, we could not combine. Again, I have to, in the IPS, you have to copy the files. So it should be, each row has the full information. So if it is written one time, then again I am giving information, it should be written there. Similarly, the other way also, like we make Excel files together. Like we three people added one training program, they give their same date in one file. So that we could not separate them. So you should not manage all the files. As many well five times, it should be in all five times. It should not be blue, should not be marked. Should not be marked, should not be not be missing. Like the one course started in 1978, so it should be 1978 in all places. So it's 1978 in the other side of that. So again, we have to pull or push or something. We don't know. The first thing is we don't know whether it's 1978 or not. So that we have to change. The basic thing is that if it is somewhat forging the Excel C lines, then we test for it. So that you can look at them. Marting should not be there. Marting should not, marting should not be there as you understand. We all understand. But when we pull, okay, it's my files. But your file, my file goes to some to the department. Department, what they do, they will, do, they will copy all the people lessons. So when they copy, they just copy it. They don't bother. But we have, we have marting. We say 10 files, we could not do that. We see it's just five. So that all files, all the fields, if it is repeated information, it must be okay. It should not be more special. That could be the case. Thank you. Yeah, sir. Vishana. So, good evening, everyone. So, I have a small question because of, uh, at this time, I just wanted to hear. I have done just one year, one year, but with this uh, one experience, so if it is to a website, if individual staff is running an individual walking, where we can able to input our details. So uh, some of the details we doesn't require a field. So that can be automatically grabbed from the, uh, the source of the particular staff page. So we don't want to work on those information again. For example, in terms of uh, conference or articles, so the respective staff members, if they are in motion to add those information to the respective profile page, so it can be automatically fetched into the uh, EQAC first, and it can be double verified or triple time. We can verify by the MFT department principal on the Donna level, and the work will be very much easier for the EQAC team so that it will be possible to do. So that's my solution. So uh, over here is uh, getting all those information is most the difficult part. <laughs> so if it is there in the website uh, for you to start logging. And even more better if we leave that to GAS and all the staff members will be motivated. So either the way, as a new faculty, I have to uh, publish one article in a year. So if that reflects in my CAS, so I will be motivated that that will be good or that will be satisfactory. So that push will be there from the uh, staff level so that it will be goes to the final university. That's my suggestion. And so Vishwanath Ji, it's a good suggestion. And uh, in fact, we are trying for a long time to do this, right? And uh, there are a lot of uh, problems are there in this case. And because the software, it is actually university management system that you are talking about. And that we are going to have somewhat, a somewhat for all the faculty's details. Uh, no, this is, uh, we have taken two, three moves, but we could not complete. And we had a discussion was just a few days back regarding cash because annual, annual uh, what is called? Uh, that uh, annual submit, you have to submit that one. Right? No, no. Faculty's annual progress report that uh, audit has. Huh? Audit has question. We have to submit annually our faculty progress report. Uh, not after three years uh, that when you were claiming for CS promotion. Also, we have discussed, but the problem is that uh, Offline, still, I am a, I am very much equipped to offline, but our 70% faculties are not good in off, uh, online system. So uh, until, unless we can train them, that move will create a havoc. So we are going to Google Drive. Still, you, have, you can see Google Drive is struggling with. So let us wait for some a few more years, then I definitely will come out for it. So, it's, it's very good suggestion. Uh, mm -hmm. really. here, let me answer you. Uh, in a positive way. 
Yes, that is the best practice that can one contemplate about. That why you particular to post for collection of data each year? Because that gives us too much of headache and we lose valuable time and lots of education from all stakeholders. So I think that so many of the good suggestions are coming and people with much more advanced technical knowledge have also joined our fraternity. So it can be, it can be started. I think that there are so many different free sites available because whatsoever bandwidth available with Vishwamart, a part of it, it has been shared with IPS. You can see that admission, Vishwamart main website and IPS. So if you develop certain kind of platform where, as you have mentioned, 56 or 53 academic departmental heads will be having separate login, user ID and password, so that the respective faculties from each department can access and upload or update these or our information. And that can be shared with IQS. Rather than taking up a IQS to the department, May I suggest that few of our young members or faculty members, they start a platform in this way so that we can bring it to the higher authority. Sure, sir. Okay. We need only the financial assistance. So that will be the question, but we will have to make a model first. So the financial aspects are there, but first we will have to make a presentation. So in closing. In the meantime, when we start, when we start the actual process. I will surely contact yeah, you yeah, regarding yeah. this process so that you will come or other people will come and give yeah, us a presentation that how this can be achieved and what is the financial requirement ah, and make yeah. a proposal yeah. so yeah. that we can place it before the authority. Maybe it is not this year. The coming months we will be having some kind of breakthrough in this aspect. Thank you. So, so, so one last point because uh, the, we are dealing with number of departments. Every Asha Bhavana may have uh, around 15 departments, no? 16. So you can see uh, what we did in the last AQR. Uh, just this is AQR 21-22. This is the Google Drive of uh, uh, IQAC, 21-22 AQR. We are now already started, we have 22-23. Already started, this folder we have created. We are now collecting information. And this 21-22, uh, you can see the, if you go there, you can find different things are there, but the criteria wise we have arranged. Again, you can see here, uh, we made a department wise. This is progress one. This is progress one, which I have opened here. Progress one, uh, progress one, okay, this is one. See, uh, every criteria is there on the top. So, Kalabhavana, Sikhavana, how they responding? Ready, correction pending, likewise, no data, no data. Like this is a that time draft we prepare, right? Ready. Done. This is. Yes, the white means no data. Right. So likewise, for all Bhavana, we have this series. And again, uh, another part you can see, if this is this progress every hour faculty is looking at because there are seven criteria. Our five, six members are working on them. Five, six working on them. So this, they are, they, suppose this 2.3 to looking for, looking, uh, looked by Mr. Uh, Asisda. So Asisda is only going for this part. Then who are there on the uh, three point, they will look for three point. And who are there for four point, they will go for four point. So they will make corrections in this point and one person will observe how the progress is going on. And here you can see, this is the link for the content. You can go to any Bhasavavana NEC. This is NEC, my master file is there. This is master file. Here all data, these data are updated by the faculties because this link they have. Suppose point two point three point is doing someone he is updating. So if I am I am compiling for whole bhavanas, I will go his data and I will um, this uh, collect data to this this particular. If say is completed, then I will collect data to his master file. So you can see all bhavanas are there here. Even you can find a centers, PSNS, doc files, folder, so admission cell. So you will find uh, this this particular uh, set and there you can go to every folder which is stored in your, wherever it is stored, no, not, no need to go for it. Then this is known, this is, there are faculties, they know what they are doing. I don't know. But I, once I link, I will go to the particular folder.
so this way you can work as a team and faster this is very faster files are not lost not misplaced and it is easier to you i am from, from focus only in one point he is focus only his point so one by one right so you can manage this way thank you very much sakal pavan লাগবেন And on behalf of uh, IPSC, I would like to thank all the participants who spent their time. And um, I hope our session was welcome. That was the whole purpose. And hope you have a good day to add a sip. Thank you. Have a nice evening.